kids and welcome to Covenant Kids TV. We are so glad that you're here with us today. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna stand up together so that we can sing and worship God for all that he does for us. Let's go. Strength will rise as we wait upon the Lord. Wait upon the Lord. Wait upon the Lord. Strength will rise as we wait upon the Lord. Wait upon the Lord. Wait upon the Lord. Our God.
about anything but in every situation give thanksgiving don't be anxious about anything but in every situation give thanksgiving no oh. language, we use the word love in a lot of different ways, right? Like we might say, I love pizza. And then we also say, I love my mom. But it's kind of funny because even though I really do love pizza, it's not the same as loving my mom or my best friend. That kind of love is way bigger, right? When we see the word love in the Bible, it's different too. It doesn't mean love like the way we say we love playing games or certain foods. Love from the Bible is talking about more than just a feeling. It's talking about doing things. Actions that are selfless and that put other people as more important than ourselves, that is what that kind of love means. Love is who God is. As Jesus followers, we can be filled with God's love so that this Christ-like love becomes what describes us best. Keep watching to find out more about this kind of love. All right, come on in. Jasmine, this is your new foster family, right? They are really sweet people and they're gonna take good care of you. Sergio, Laura, Austin, meet Jasmine. Hi, Very Laura. nice to meet you. Well, you guys, all the paperwork is done. Jasmine, call me if you need anything, okay? I'll be in contact with you. Have a great night, you guys. I'll see you. Bye, Kelly. Thank you. Welcome to our home. Come on in. Dad, you're just in time for dinner. Taco. <laughs> okay, is everyone done? Let's talk a bit. Jasmine, after dinner, we like to take a little bit of time to talk about what's important. And tonight, I think it's really important that we share a little bit of ourselves first. I actually teach eighth grade history at the middle school, and I'm also a seventh grade football coach. The rest of these guys have heard my story before, but let me tell you just a little bit. Um, I'm originally from Brazil. I was adopted by my grandparents when I was eight. My life was not always easy, but I knew I, I had God with me, and I always knew I wanted to help other kids when I grew up. So. Here we are. <clears throat> I'm Austin. <laughs> I'm 16. I like to run and play any kind of sports. These guys took me in about six years ago and they made me feel right at home, like I always belonged here. Um, I hope you will feel the same way too. Oh, and I got my driver's license last week. <laughs> Jasmine, we know it'll take a little bit of time for us to get to know one another but we would love to invite you into our faith conversations that we have after dinner. It has been pretty cool to learn from these two. Yesterday we finished reading about Jesus and when he was on earth, and then he ascended into heaven and he told his followers to go and share the good news with everyone everywhere. You know, the first Christians, they didn't have the fancy buildings for church. Usually they crowded into each other's houses to share a meal, learn, pray, Praise God together. It seems wild that Jesus went to heaven and left a group of people to spread his rescue plan to the whole world. Yeah, and the church was a collection of all kinds of people. There was men, women, children, rich and poor people, Jews and non-Jews, and even free people and Roman slaves. God brought all these people together around Jesus and made them into a new people, his holy people. Their goal was to tell people about Jesus and to 
become more and more like him. All those different people came together to be a new family? Yes, because they know just how amazing Jesus is. All of a sudden have a big family that you were adopted into? That must have been pretty awesome. Yes, but that doesn't mean they had it easy. Just like Jesus, they faced many troubles. But whatever the world threw at them, they knew that God loved them and was there for them. They realized that there were some who didn't have enough food. So they shared food and money with each other to help provide for their needs. If people try to stop them from spreading the word about Jesus, the believers will pull together, support each other, pray hardcore for God to help everyone. That's gotta be the best thing. I mean, people can help you a lot. Oh, I mean a lot. But God is really the only one who can help you with everything. That's so true. And that reminds me of a passage in Romans. Paul was one of the first Christian missionaries. He wrote to the believers in the big city of Rome. Austin, would you read these verses for us, please? Who can separate us from Christ's love? Can trouble or hard times or harm or hunger? Can nakedness or danger or war? No. In all these things, we are more than winners. We owe it all to Christ, who has loved us. Paul wanted them to know that nothing they could do could separate them from God's love. No, no physical circumstances and not even any spiritual powers. Jasmine, would you like to read these verses? Sure. I'm absolutely sure that not even death or life can separate us from God's love. Not even angels or demons, the present or the future, or any powers can separate us. So even if the evil one, Satan, pulled out every trick he could, nothing would work. Nothing could separate God's people from his love for them. Yes, but Paul was not saying that they'd be comfortable and without trouble because the world is full of trouble. Paul was saying that nothing can change God's love for his people. Yes, and there's another name for God's people, the children of God. I like that name for God's people. Me too. And we are called the children of God in a lot of places in the Bible. Another early follower of Jesus named John, he said that God's love is meant to be shared with one another. And Jesus is the ultimate example of loving others. He wrote, Dear children, don't just talk about love. Put your love into action. Then it will truly be love. So, God doesn't just want us to say that we love other people. He wants us to actually show it. Exactly. Lots of people talk about love, but sharing compassion, helping others, that's what shows God's love in our lives. Real love looks like what Jesus did for all of us. He died to save us. And it helps remember that God's love will always be with us. Jasmine, we know that life can be full of some really tough stuff, but we're very happy you're here right now. Right here, right now, you are fully loved. God loves you no matter what. He loves all of us. He already gave us everything in Jesus and nothing can separate us from God's love. Hey kids, it's time for our word of wonder and it is from 1 Corinthians 13, 13 and it goes like this. The three most important things to have are faith, hope, and love. But the greatest of them is love. All right, this time I want you to repeat after me as I say it, okay? Are you ready? The three most important things to have are faith, hope, and love. But the greatest of them is love. 1 Corinthians 13, 13. Great job. We are the children of God, and God's love for us is so big and so great. There is absolutely nothing that can take that love away. Nothing can get in between us and God's love. And there's so much of that love. It's meant to be shared, right? Jesus is our perfect example for sharing love with one another. If we want to know what real love, real biblical love looks like, we can just remember what Jesus did for us. Jesus died to take our punishment. Now, God isn't expecting you to die for others, but the point is that He has put us and our needs as more important than His own. 
He even squatted down with his friends and washed their dirty feet with his hands. That was another example he gave us of how to love one another. By doing things that might be hard or dirty or things that we don't like, if it means helping someone else. Lots of people talk about love, but showing compassion and helping one another is not just a nice thing to do. It shows that someone has God's love inside of them. When we put love into action like Jesus did, others can see God's love in us. Through Jesus, God has already given everything and nothing can separate us from God's love. God knows you, God loves you, and God leads you. Now go change your world.